Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and today I have come up with a very interesting problem of uh, Pathfinder. It is elastic strings of zero length. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and name of this problem is elastic string of zero length. Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are INPHO Foundation and J Advanced 2023 course. It's a very unique and uh, in-depth uh, course. It started on uh, Feb 9th and it is uh, you know, one of its kind in whole of India. So please do check and uh, please uh, convey this information to uh, all the students who are uh, in your circle and interested in uh, Olympiad preparation. And uh, uh, currently the series of mock tests uh, for JE 2021 mains is uh, going on in special classes. So three mock tests have been uh, done and there will be another mock test tomorrow. So please tune in for it. And uh, at one course on electrostatics has just started uh, for JE 2022. Guys, you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus level for boosting your JE preparation. And uh, you can uh, unlock these courses on Unacademy or uh, any test series or any paper on Unacademy using my code Nitin sir. And uh, for more information, you can check www.unacademy.com. And guys, physics will never be the same again. Trust me. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. Uh, it's from Pathfinder Laws of Motion. Uh, build your understanding. Problem number four. Two identical elastic cord of negligible relaxed length are tied at one of their end to fix nails A and B that are equidistant from origin O. The other end, the other ends of the strings are tied to a small ball to hold the ball in equilibrium at point. Uh, 4,3 a force of magnitude uh, f which is 1000 newton is required assume free space conditions and uh, find the force constant of the code cords and uh, here we have to this is uh, the another part i have added locate the coordinates of point a and point b as well so guys here since the elastic cords are of uh, negligible uh, uh, natural length then it can be assumed that the instantaneous length of the cord uh, is the extension in the cord I, I think uh, the spelling I have written is wrongly C O R D S in the problem I think it is given like this and this is the cord anyways I hope uh, you'll do the correction and uh, there is another uh, one Lamy's theorem when three forces in a plane are in equilibrium here and the corresponding angles are alpha, beta, gamma as shown. Then uh, uh, by using sine rule, we can say F1 by sine alpha is equal to F2 by sine beta is equal to F3 by sine uh, gamma. This logic also can be used in this problem in order to solve it. However, I'll use a relatively easier method in order to solve this problem. So let's draw the force diagrams. So corresponding to this string S1, the length is L1. So I can say this force is going to be KL1. Similarly here, uh, the string 2 S2, its length is L2. So the corresponding force in a string 2 is going to be KL2, where K is the force constant. Now these two forces F1 and F2 will be in such a way that they will balance the force F0 under Newton at 0.4,3. And if that is the case here, you can uh, check, we can resolve these forces. The best part of this problem is when you resolve these forces, you can see here in horizontal direction, it will be F2 cos alpha, which is KL2 cos alpha. Similarly here, this is F1 and this angle is going to be beta. So it is going to be F1 cos beta or you can say KL1 cos beta I have written here. I hope you can see this part. KL2 cos alpha and KL1 cos beta. Similarly, in vertical direction, both strings will uh, give force in downward direction and the values are, and the values are uh, F1 sin beta and F2 sin beta, uh, sorry, F1 sin beta and F2 sin alpha. All right, so KL2 sin alpha and this is KL1 sin beta. I hope it is clear to you. But if you see this part very carefully here, if you see this part very carefully, you can see here, if I construct this uh, triangle here, if I construct this triangle here, uh, you can see this line. 
it will be a right angle triangle it is going to be a right angle triangle and here you can see this line l2 cos alpha is going to be this distance is uh, this distance is 4 and this distance is a so it is going to be 4 plus a similarly l1 and its cos beta component that is this length so total is 4 and this is a so this will be 4 minus a so 4 plus a and 4 minus a similarly this length is l1 and l1 is sin beta that is going to be 3 similarly we can say in this bigger triangle this l2 sin alpha is also going to be 3 so once i write this now i can write this force fx fx means this l2 cos alpha directly i can write as 4 plus a so this is going to be k times 4 plus a and similarly l1 cos beta i can write as 4 minus a so this force will become k times 4 minus a and overall force in x direction becomes 8k and uh, fy this is going to be 3k plus 3k which is 6k so very easily we can resolve these uh, forces in a very nicer uh, number such a good calculation is given in this problem so now we can write since 1000 newton force is uh, balancing it so this fx square plus fy square uh, which is going to give us 10k that must be equal to 1000 and we are going to get uh, this uh, k as uh, 100 newton per meter this is going to be the final answer for this problem and guys this question can can be part of mains can be part of advance uh, you know, it's a very easy problem even though it is from pathfinder but uh, very important application of uh, uh, strings of negligible length these results we are able to write and we are able to solve so beautifully only because of uh, strings of negligible length so one more thing you can notice here if you write tan theta which is fy by fx and you are going to get 3 by 4 so one thing which you'll notice here this force its line of action is actually passing through the origin now your homework in this will be you need to locate these points uh, p1 and p2 that means you have to find a you can solve this question by using m and cot theorem also there are many ways by which this question can be approached and uh, here we have done this uh, line of action of resultant force will pass through origin so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, solution and this problem as well if this is the case please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another video thank you